Hi you guys, today I'm going to show you how I make gate, narrow gate in ArchiCAD. I am in floor plan. I'm going to go to view and deactivate the grid display. And I went on Pinterest and saved a gate, picture of a gate, which I'm going to use as a reference. So I'm going to drag and drop it here. I would like to scale it a little bit. Let's see. So, Ctrl K, Ctrl K is for resize it to scale it. So I'm going to measure, well, it has 6 meters, so I'm going to make it 2.5. It's not, I don't think this is the actual proportion, but it's quite okay, just like this. So, I'm going to use this picture as a reference, and I'm going to draw these curvy lines with a line, which is the most useful tool for this. And I'm going to draw it with the red so I can see through all this black. So, I'm going to click into points and then drag so I can make a curve. It's really smart to this. I like it all. So I'm going to draw all this with a spine tool. I'm going to here because this is a straight line. So first I'm going to draw the curvy lines. No. Well, it doesn't have to be perfect, it's just so yeah. We will all this. So two points and after I drag and it makes a pretty curve. Okay. I have another another curve that comes from King. Great. Right. So I'm gonna first draw this half. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna mirror it. It's easier that way. Okay. It's so dark here. I don't know if I can see correctly. And this one, well, blurry picture, really blurry picture. Well, if you can find another picture, would be better for you because this one. Okay, so I'm gonna go up. Finished here. Okay. I really like this tool. Well, the curves that you see behind, well, no, this one is from here, but behind uh, is another door that has 
the same type of wiring which is behind so okay. now I'm gonna use the line which I'm gonna make also red and go from this point to this point I'm just going to intersect it I will check later if they're correctly intersected well yeah So I'm gonna flip this straight. So I trapped it. I copy and trim it. Okay, and I don't know, but this seems confused with this. Yeah, it is. There's have another one. I'm gonna use just one line. Where's the I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna do, do it like this. So I have another line in half well, well I'm gonna reposition it so it is, is control D to drag it okay so I did the inside and then do the outside also okay so here I have a straight line straight line and see I have a straight line and now I'm going to use line again which is on more line I forgot to say that yeah so yeah I think the point is this oh ah, quite good well, mm, let's see if I can make it I think I'm See if I can make it like. Okay, no, no, I don't like it. Well, I'm gonna go with this up and this intersection. So I need this. Now, oh, I should have done it. Good. I just need to go by the half. I. And now I'm gonna select all with Ctrl A and deselect holding Shift and picture because I don't want picture to be selected. And then Ctrl Shift M, which is for mirror, which is for duplicate mirror. Okay. And we have lines that will define arcade. I'm gonna move picture away so you can see this. Well, we work on the ground floor, so. This is where we're going to put the beans and we're going to turn it to make it stand like a little gate. Great. Now I'm going to go to beam and if I, if I show you how thick this is, well, this is not going to look good. So I'm going to make it by 10 centimeters, which I think it's also too big, but we'll see. Yeah. So, no, it's too big. Like, I think it's six. Six, not sixteen. Yeah, I do like it just way. So, we've been selected, and the space bar will activate the magic tool and click. Oh, I forgot to speak. I forgot to do something. This is going to be zero. And then, well, no, I'm sorry. And make it outlines only. Click OK. And then, being selected, space bar, click, click, click. So, now, I want to use another type of beam with different profile. So I'm going to make a new profile. I want to make it here so I can copy it and make it so I can see how big it is. This is why I'm making it here. So yeah. So it's going to be a circle of two, will be in two diameters. So after you made a circle, 
uh, we're going to copy it. Copy the circle. Go into Design, Complex Profile, Profile Manager. Open a new file with both. A new profile. Uh, I'm going to name it Rounded B and click OK. Uh, now we're going to paste the circle that we did earlier into the center of the curve view and I want to drag it from the middle so Ctrl D click on the middle and the center of the circle should be on this red cross no. then I'm going to go to fill make sure it's the iron selected is this one and holding space and click have round two I'm gonna make it beam okay and horizontal stretch vertical stretch and over right so I'm gonna exit this and go oh, I don't need a circle anymore so delete I'm going to beam settings dialog and you should select the second one which is the one for the customized beams so the first one is custom and we're gonna click on rounded beam uh, the, mat the material you use should be metal iron I don't know which is the usually usual one but select metal iron and then okay. With again with the beam select tool and spacebar, you see the magic wand. Click, click, click on everything you have here. First, it this because I think it's better. This one, this one. Sorry. Okay, so make sure you click on the line. We're not in the space between. Okay, so we actually made the gate. Now I'm going to perspective to show you something happened here. So I need to see what I did. Yeah, well, you need to make sure when you click with the magic tool on to click on the line. So I'm going to go back to here because I forgot to put this one. And this one. So I'm going back to perspective. Yeah, that's fine. So On the ground floor, floor plan, I'm going to select all these. So, with the beam selected, Ctrl A, Ctrl D to drag it near. What I'm going to do is transform this into a morph. So, right click, convert selection to morph, click OK. You're going to have to wait a bit. Continue anyway. So when the morphs are still selected, you need to go again and right click and hit 
Boolean operation union. What this makes it uh, makes it whole, so it's not on parts, made on parts. Now when I'm when I select maybe like one object, one more actually right now it's one more. So it looks actually it looks the same way to go perspective. What I'm going to do is make a section through here. Okay, open the section. So this is our morph. Control E to rotate it so it can stay straight and not on the floor. This is actually a beam. I did it. Okay. Now he's, it stays in it stays straight. So but the thing is right now it's more and I want to make it more object. So I'm gonna select this, go to file, libraries and objects, save selection as object. And I'm gonna name it gate zero zero one and save. Now, when you go to objects, the first selected object is the last one you did. So, this one is a morph, and this one is an object. I'm going to move it so we can see it on the perspective. Control D to drag it. So there you have it. Skate.